were on uh, the town center um, and library building committee on September 11th, 2024. And we have a quorum. Wow. Um, I don't have a copy of the agenda right here. But can I do that right on this computer? Right Let me just shrink down and see what I can do. Oh, no, nope, it goes that way. Well, looking for it. Not Richford, Richmond, kid. <laughs> Sorry about that. It auto corrected on me. Don't get on China. Well, seeing no public here, does anybody have any public comment? <laughs> <laughs> any ad additions or deletions to the agenda? I have one. I would like to wait to approve the meeting minutes when Adam's here. Yeah, I agree. Since he was at most of the meetings, if he's got input, I'd like to hear that. Sure. Um, everybody <clears throat> okay with that? Yep. Okay. I, so we'll delete that. Yeah, as far as the meeting, I, I did send you the dates I that I was there, and I think one of the meetings on those that, that I was listed as a member, which I think I, I thought I had missed a meeting, but I think that was the meeting that we all missed because there wasn't an agenda. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. The one that got canceled and it was a storm that night. Anyhow, yeah. it's a good thing it got canceled. So we'll we'll do meeting minutes next time. Yeah. Great. Is there anything else on the agenda that we should remove or do that something different with? Were you going to address the Camel's Hump design proposal or is that to wait for Adam as well? Or where were we at with I think uh, I think we we're all going to take a peek at it, yeah, and uh, just kind of discuss our thoughts. Okay, so we'll keep that. So yep. everything else is staying. So shall we start with agenda item number one? Is that okay? And Sounds you great. Kick, you want to kick it off, Matt? Sure. Yeah. So as a review, uh, Adam and I met up with a contact that I had. Um, I previously worked with uh, and and walked the building for about two hours, some Sunday morning or another, a mm -hmm. few months back. Um, and, and we just were kind of trying to get guidance. Uh, he's done public buildings before in this almost exact context. Uh, he did the, he did the Waterbury building, Waterbury, uh, town buildings, for example. So, you know, he kind of has a lot of knowledge in the space. He, he, and you can see it in the proposal, but so, so what he said is, look, let me write up a proposal, what this would look like. Uh, I know you guys have to shop it out. I've been through this whole, uh, I've been through this whole thing before. But let me get you one uh, for me that will provide a good, good example of what you should expect to see from others as you go forward with this as well. He also indicated, and I, I contacted him as was a homework item of mine, uh, and just asked him if in the next several weeks he's around. He said, yeah, he'd be happy to come in either two weeks from now or or the following meeting. Work well for him. So uh, that was just kind of to pick his brain a little further. So it, I guess um, just kind of curious on people's thoughts. I uh, I was very impressed. I think, you know, we we need to get this rolling and get either him if we find somebody better, get them. But yeah. But what is in there? It, it I had some questions, things I didn't totally understand. Yeah. But it sounded to me like it was somebody that would be basically holding our hands through this process, where they would be he would be guiding us and we would be guiding him as right. to what got done. I think he would help us in selecting others that will be working on it. That's where I got a little fuzzy as to when who who got picked and did we actually pick a contractor? I, you know, someone else is going to be quoting some of this as those the people we have decided are going to actually do it kind of thing. Right. Those those kind of questions going through there, but it it seems like something we really ought to get rolling as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> For the record, do you have the the cost of the proposal? The cost of what he has there? Could you I, I know you've got it. Do you want to share screen since you've already got got it pulled? Sure. Up? Yeah, happy yeah. to. Right. I don't know if you're logged in. Running on six percent. 
We'll see how we do. Um, no, it should be fine. Um, yeah, I can jump in right here, make sure I turn the sound Listen, on. I can put it in the record. Of course, yeah. And absolutely. then how it would work for us is I'd love to have him come in. Yeah, I know so. is to explain his proposal and maybe answer some basic questions for us. But then it goes through the whole town's RFP process and all of that kind of stuff yep. and, and all that. I, I'm just saying that's that would be like our next step. I would love to have him come first. So after we talk about the details, I'd love to talk about a meeting date that works for everybody to have him come. Yeah, a piece of my homework was just see if he's around over the next three meetings. And he said he was. So uh, anytime in the next three meetings, it sounds like he's available uh, pending whatever comes up in life. Hmm. Uh, and I, and it seemed to me that I, I thought the, the money involved there was very reasonable. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I'd have to restart my computer. It looks like I haven't actually shared screen on Zoom. It needs okay. to do this whole Mac stuff, okay. but um, I'll, I'll read out. I'll read it out loud. Yeah, if you just want to read it out loud so I can just put it in the record, that would be great. Not a problem. Get that back up here. So it goes through uh, through the write up. It gives the phases, and then the way he breaks it down at the bottom is a cost for for phase service. Okay. So three so phases. Yep. Pre design concept schematic design uh, is a ten thousand five hundred dollar fee, um, and we can list what's in these phases after if you'd like. Phase two, which is design development and construction. Hold on document. a second. Phase phase sorry about that. Phase one's cost list because I was writing that was pre design. Ten, ten five. Ten thousand five hundred. Beautiful. Uh, phase two is the really the development of the project. Mm -hmm. uh, that's twenty three five, twenty three thousand five hundred, and then the the construction, uh, which is phase three, is thirty thousand, which is uh, ends up being a total of sixty four thousand dollars for the service uh, in the in the you know proposal. The way he really breaks down the phases is really obvious in the contract. It's 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 plain as day if you look through it. Mm -hmm. But um, so, and how does this? Because this is what the this is. I'm thinking from this perspective of the taxpayer who wrote it down. The other last designs right. that people came up with and those kinds of things. I mean, I'm for this. Let's. Mm -hmm. I think we definitely need yeah. somebody to guide us through this process. But my concern is is that people are going to go, oh, here we go again. Yeah. They're going to spend all kinds of money on designs and we're never going to get anything done, yeah. right? How do we educate the public and how do we justify or how do we go about getting the guidance that we need? And we also have to educate the select board to give us the money. I mean, we have to explain to them what this is and why we need it. I, I uh, and, and it goes along with the exactly public, right. I think, similar arguments. Select board's going to be more understanding because they understand that the, yeah. the boards that need guidance yeah. need the guidance. And so yeah. I don't think it's the select board as much as the defending public. it to the public, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. The, the other question I had is we, play, we paid Black River quite a bit of money, I'm sure, I don't know how much, to do a lot of the same things that he's proposing we're doing here. Um, the, is any of that reusable? I mean, I'm sure he's going to be looking at what they proposed as well as part of what he's going through here. So, I, I you know, they were basically an architecture firm trying to do some of the things that he's doing here. And I, I know you have some experience on which is which and what, yeah. you know, how all that all I, went. I think, you know... I'll lean on my, my experience. Whenever I justify a hire to mm -hmm. my higher ups or mm -hmm. my boss, in this case, the public, yes. um, there, there are a few things, right? There's the, the resume that gets them in the door. Yeah. There is the uh, interview and understanding of what they're going to provide and how they're capable of providing that and, and the gap that we have. I think what, so, so whoever come, whoever we decide to bring in to, to help us through this, has context knows how to manage uh you know all the yeah. all the disciplines that we we need to bring in whether that's for advisement or or for turning the wrenches uh there's that and i think with the what they're going to provide us that leans right on the resume but but ultimately i think we need to make it known what we don't have on this committee yeah. right what don't we have like here's the expertise that doesn't exist on the committee that the committee is not designed to have in general and the gap is this. Therefore, we're we're going out and and we're 
shopping across individuals or group groups or however we, we want to say that, that here's this, here's this skill set we need to find to make sure we are utilizing public funds appropriately. And now that both of you have spoke, it, it makes me, I mean, anytime you want to speak up, don't, don't hesitate because I'm, right. I'm not necessarily looking at you. I'm looking at the, <laughs> sorry about that. I think of it as we have a different project than the original one. Okay. And we're not dreaming a vision of the max we can do with this building. Um, with an unlimited budget. I think our approach is going to be possibly different. Like these are our basic needs that we need to have addressed. Um, and what is the most reasonable budget we can do it for and not look at add-ons to begin with and not look at all of the, the, the systems that don't need to be replaced right now looking at systems and we've done a different kind of analysis, right? Of, you know, looking at, going to look at a capital plan and going to talk about those kinds of phases. So I think we're, we're coming at it as a different yeah, absolutely. approach. Absolutely. And I think that's part of the sales pitch, right? To say, what's the justification is this? I think we're going to, as a new approach, but maybe you guys don't feel the same way as I do. So I need to know right. if, I, I, you're seeing the same list and we're just going to try to accomplish it no, differently. No, I no, I absolutely agree with you that, that we are doing, hopefully doing something different. Uh, we don't know what. Uh, one concern that I had in here is how we come up with that cost. Uh, it seemed like they were headed down the path that the, uh, the, the earlier version of the committee did with Black River, where you went through and you tell them all the things you want and they get all the people and then they put the quote together and you get a quote. And I know a couple of people on the old committee said, we were really surprised at how much that cost. I don't want to be surprised how much that costs. Cost has to be considered as we're going through, but it's hard to do because you don't know until you ask the people that are going to do it. So yeah, I, I, I don't know how we how we get to that point, but I, I, I mean, we, we obviously know that if we don't redo the whole parking lot, we're going to save some money and we can figure out some of the items that were quoted that maybe we don't need to take out, but they may find things. I mean, I'm going in through there. There's some stuff in the black river quote that I'm not sure they covered everything. There's some stuff that they said they're doing that I didn't find in the costs, but they bury it in big things. So it might be there, but I, I don't, I don't know, but but how we get some level of cost education, I don't know, you know, understanding as we're going through it without having to get quotes from all the plumbers and whatever that's going to be doing it. It's, and our expertise might be something that by asking those basic questions before, while we're at the proposal stage to be able for us to then go to the select board and ask for the funding to help yeah. with this process would be justified. But I think that's the first question, like you said, going to the select board and getting the funding for the discovery. a discovery is understanding what we're really trying to discover. Yeah. And we're really trying to discover it's a new approach. We're not looking to dream the big dream. We're looking to have a reasonable budget going at it from a budget perspective as far as the needs versus. Yeah. yeah. The other thing, as far as the budget, I believe in here, they would say, you know, they expect us to tell them what the budget level is and they'll try and meet it. I, I don't think we have an agreement as to what the budget level should yeah. be at this point. And there's some moving pieces, right? Like yeah. I think through this just at home, um there's 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 a few there's the beginning stage, right? Of the how much. You know, I, I think we'll discover how much before we move right. Okay. There's a little work there. Mm -hmm. But like mm -hmm. phase one or phase zero, whatever we want to call it. There's yeah. a okay, what's there's two ways to do that, right? Like low, medium, high, what, yeah. what can we do for these numbers? Yeah. Or you can say, what's everything? Yeah. Let's go through that and ax the stuff that, and, that is And, you know, this, whoever we have, what, what, what do we, uh, what's the title of this person, first group? But uh, this owns, Home Design. Yeah, but is it, I, I, I hear owner's representative, owner's project management services. There was something in- Hiring is what he's asking. Yeah, what's oh, we hiring? hiring. I would call it- a, what, uh, what place are we trying getting to getting them to fill? The, the the industry term is construction project manager. Okay. okay. What that we're... individual does is own 
own the project through and through at, at quality cost and budget, yeah. you know, your quality and budget, right? And uh, manages the resources yeah. and, and does all the bidding and all that. So that, that, that's kind of the industry term. It, it says at the top of their quote here, they, they, they used owner project management services. So, I, and there was something in the Black River for an owner representative that they said we needed. And the cost was buried in with some other things for six hundred and ninety five thousand dollars or something. So we have no idea what and, and but it was something that right. wasn't in place yeah. at the yeah. time they got to the bond vote, but they said it needed to be going forward, apparently. So that I think getting someone at the beginning that would have been basically if we needed something from Black River, they would have been helping us manage that. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think that's right. And and really, what is it about? It goes back to our mission. It's the transparency of the cost. Yeah. And so when we get through the first phase, you know, I, I always, depends where it is, but I always put a 10 to 20% contingency budget in, right? That's yeah. part of your budget. Yeah. It's it's not going over it. Yeah. It's in it. Yeah. Um, and and then we should know, yeah. period, right. what it is. And, and I think really that that's where we need to be. It needs to be really clear. Yeah. And, you know, in the trades world, especially I've worked in this world a lot, you kind of just need someone who can, who can be a strong arm and a yeah. driver, yeah. right? Because it's, it's just a, it's a tougher world. There's a lot out yeah. there. Who do you talk to? How do you put bids out? How do you yeah. communicate? Right. So I think that phase zero really is where back to your original question, like that's really where we come up with our cost and our, plan moving forward because the other end of it is do we break this into a 10-year timeline as a recommendation right. Right. and put several could phases be, right? of the project like there's a be. lot of options for yeah, us right. that we just don't know right and i think we really have to see what the heck has to be what, done what, yeah what yeah what is the project and then how do we do it and then what makes the most sense <laughs> yeah. for us to recommend so i want to amy do you want to add anything here i mean i know you were on the the committee before and you've seen the whole design and the process that that happened are we taking a different approach is there's the same uh, exact it's pretty similar i think in terms of how you know we operated so the architecture firm came in and, and where it's different i think is what you said kara you know we were saying okay we our goal is to renovate this whole building like you know sort of give us your best shot here are all the different systems that we think need to be renovated and so of course you know they they kind of went off and gave us um a total renovation they did um i think a lot of the same like as i'm looking at the proposal um in some of those like pre-design things some of the like project planning um you know the FEMA requirements, the regulatory compliance, the like they there were quite a few meetings with people who came in to do a lot of that work. So I would hope that all of the materials that we have, because we paid for them for Black River, like might be useful to Camel's Hump. Um, they it might save them a few steps. They they might be able being in the trades and in the industry to make more sense of it than we can, because I think some of this information has been done. Um, but I think it, you know, like you said, Kara, it makes sense if we're saying this is going to be a very different project. We need to, we're going to, whatever it is, we're going to do the windows, we're going to do the HVAC, and we're going to fix the, you know, the walkway around the post office, whatever it is that we decide is in the scope of the project. Like, okay, now design and plan and build for that scope of a project. So it seems to me like we also want to go into this really having a sense of these are the things that we're going to be fixing not just like, hey, let's fix everything. Um, and that would be that would be what would be different this time than last time. So there is a difference. You feel there is a difference and enough of a difference that we're going out at a different approach that would, how do you feel about having a, a, a Camel's Hump design come in for um, the presentation or the discussion? Yeah, I, I would love, I think it would be great to talk with them and sort of, talk with them about what do they envision. I, I think it'd be great to ask them, how much can you use of the materials that, you know, we already had commissioned from Black River? Like, is that is any of this useful to you? I'd be interested to hear that. Um, they might say, hey, yeah, we didn't realize that they had done this particular elevation study. So yeah, we're going to we're going to use this and not have to bring somebody else in to redo this. We already have the paperwork. Um, but I think it would certainly be interesting to have them come in and think about what their vision for 
for a new project is so so based on timing and stuff like we we've discussed this topic are we ready to move on to the next topic and i we'll look at dates before when we go to do our agenda items for next time we'll look Great. at the date which one it would fall best on because i'd want to also check with i'd want to make sure the whole committee could be there that time because it's very important if we're asking oh, somebody to come and give their time to us I agree. that we're all here yeah and i i would i would love what i'd like to get out of that is what we like and don't like about camel's home and th that can guide us on how to go find other options. Right. Like, that's a big, that's a big takeaway for me. Yeah. I, that, yes. And so far, I just like that it's, it's a, it feels like a new approach that could be led by us. But right. what are, what are our needs? What do we see do, right. happening? It's not this whole big remodel the whole place and go ask all the existing tenants what they, what their dream is. This is yeah. reality. We are going to have a budget. Yeah. We're going to look at the major systems that need to be fixed immediately. If it's the the flood, flooding issue or whatever it is, you, you know what I mean? Prioritize. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm happy with having them come. Yeah, I, I think as soon as we can find a date when we can all get together, uh, we should do this as soon as possible. Great. So, uh, are you able to my share? Computer just died. However, I have it on my phone, and I'm going to reply to Amy's email with it. Um, so, can you plug into something else and charge from it? I would seen... love to. If there, I was just looking around. If there was a plug that I could plug into, <laughs> is that it There's doesn't a lot of look? Cords under the table. Grab, grab that, grab that USB orange extension cord. Can you USB C port? Which I don't. I didn't see anywhere. But that's okay. I think I can send it. Um, I guess to anybody here. Um, well, how are we going to do that? Oh. Yeah, great question. Sorry, my computer just died. That's okay. I have like chaos at home getting twin two year olds to bed. And then I. Twin two year olds? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. And then I run out the door. So it's always <laughs> complete chaos. For you. Well, here's the question We have that other spreadsheet to go through. If we want to table this for when Adam's back next meeting and we go through that whole spreadsheet of all those different things that we were trying to decide on, wait, proceed, wait, proceed, that might take more time. Yeah, this is, I, I think the, the way I did this is I broke it out and how to look at. Can you, Amy, if he emails it to you, can you share it on your, uh, can you share it on your computer, pull up the email and share? She can try. You're can needed, try. that's okay. Yeah, if you don't mind, email it to no, Amy. No. Let's see if it can work. I just don't want to talk about something that everybody can't yeah. see. It's it's pretty it's pretty simple. Um, I'll send it, you the link. Here. Is this the Camel's Hump design like proposal? No, this is the template I made. Oh, the Wait, template you made. Oh, was, I, template. It's my homework. I might. I'm gonna okay. reply to everyone here, and I'll just. Uh, and that's homework. Pop a link in here. I got to make sure your email is has access. All right, this should pop up and uh, I'm replying to your email from today. Great, Amy. okay. Let me make sure I have, okay, I do have share screen rights, so that's good. Yeah, I haven't had to mute you because you've been too loud or stop you from sharing. <laughs> and Matt, thank you for doing some homework. Sure. I appreciate that. Of course. Yeah. Okay, let me see what let me see what I can do. Let's see. Google Sheets. Sign in. Okay. Um it's pretty straightforward. Right. There it is. Let me hold on. Let me just see if I can get this up. Uh window chrome tab. So I first thought about breaking it out at, at like levels of the building or something, but really that doesn't make sense. I looked at a couple of my other ones. It's thinking. There it Did is. that work? It's great. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I can't see you guys anymore, so just let me know if you need something. <laughs> Make funny faces at you. Um, so uh, this is the this is the overview. So this is just the major categories, which is which I broke out into sheets just for simplicity sake. Um, but these are kind of just the general chunks of work. Um, we we don't need to go through each sheet, but every sheet has a set of subcategories within it. Um, so like the, the idea is as you're going through, whether it's quoting, whether it's work, whether it's wh whatever it is, um, at, like I usually do this at an asset level. So this would be forward, 
the town center building and let's say we were also doing library, I, I usually create another file for that. Um, but ultimately uh, it lists each kind of sub subcategory under that. And then this would be totaling the, the cost. And this is kind of a, a view, right? So this is a this is an overview. You're looking at, here was the estimated cost. Here's what we actually spent. Here's that percent variance across those. And so it's, it's kind of just, you kind of have two things, right? The, the obvious thing is the cost, the but the cost, what, what you're looking at to the left and then ultimately in each sheet is what you're actually doing. And so the sheet, that each sheet's kind of the subcategories really have the list of what. Can, what can we click on just, Amy, can you click on like the HVAC for an example of the HVAC tab? The tab itself, that down at the bottom, there's a tab for it. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, you know, I kind of put examples of each one in. Um, obviously, it's going to depend on what we do. Can this be modified? Because the thing that I'm looking yeah, for in a capital plan is I'm looking for two more columns. I'm looking for the age of the existing system and the expected life of the existing system. Got it. Okay. Because I want to know how long the systems we have life is to justify replacing it now if it's already beyond its expected life. That's a real justification to everybody out mm -hmm. there and real transparent if we have that. So I'm seeing the capital plan is not just the project capital plan, but the capital plan in the sense of the existing structure, what the ages of things are, yeah. and yeah. and no, I... what a guesstimated cost to replace exactly what we have where we have it. And so that's really three columns, and, right? Yeah, and something that would would live on after we finish the renovation of this. If we put in a new high back <laughs> yeah. HVAC yeah. system, then it's going to say it's good for twenty years or whatever. Year and we know that in uh, twenty forty four, they better have money to buy a new one. You know? Yeah. So then the details of that information, I don't know if that was all part of Black Rocks. If they did that, I didn't see anything that had that. And for me, as somebody who was I'm not just going to go put a new furnace in my house because like somebody's it. going to pay for it, yeah. not me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I really think that's the piece that was missing for me in the first plan. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, I agree with you. I, the, the information in the first plan was pretty hard to, to read. <laughs> um, and back to transparency, I think that that's quite easy, right? And and ultimately what I wanted to do here is I tried to just, I mean, this was right. I just, just kind of a brain dump for sub, subcategories, but um I tried to just list all the things, <laughs> yeah. right? But then, but this, but this is great. But your, your list is looking at things that we would need to do as far as a renovation what of the building. Yeah, yeah, it, it, that makes sense. Right, where I think what Kara is looking for is an ongoing thing that says, you know, we ought to paint the walls every 15 years or whatever, yeah. you know, and and uh, put in new carpets every once in a while and so forth like that yeah. and have that on the list so we can, I think that's can, right. uh, plan for the expenditures ahead of time. So things like maybe the purchase date of originally like a furnace or something like that, um, the expected life of that furnace. I'm using the first one as an example because it's an easy thing yeah, for everyone right. to think about, yeah. right? Um, purchase date, expected life. Um, you said something and it was a third column. Expected life. And of, of expected life of um, the existing. These are both for existing. Yeah, you said estimated well, cost, but yeah, yeah, I think my, I guess my the point existing is existing system. But yeah. then we'd want if we did a new purchase date, right. the expected life of the new system. Too, right. right. So so it'd be one list, and, and you know, but if we put a new one in this year, then it's uh, purchase date is twenty twenty four, and it just it's in the same list. Yeah. It's just uh, correct. And that, but that's different than figuring out what we need to. Some of the things that, like. So there, there's stuff that we're going to be doing, hopefully, to this building that wouldn't be on that list. I mean, if we're um, moving all the stuff out of the basement, we're not going to do that again. And oh yeah, no, whatever. There, so there could be construction so, so, costs that don't have a life. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So I think I think the list that you're looking for is a continuing list that would live with us forever, and we would just keep putting on and taking things off from it as as we went along and some of that we would do now like i i have heard somewhere that the air conditioners are a long time past their expected life and they've got 
Freon cooling in them, which you can hardly, it's illegal to put in new ones and they can still get it, but on the black market somewhere <laughs> or whatever. But. <laughs> but even just taking this list, like a heating and cooling units, I mean, you might have more than one of them, so you should label out what each yeah, one is, is kind of thing. The duct work, well, hopefully you're not going to have a, a life of duct work. I don't no. think there's a real life of duct work. But you might say it needs to be cleaned clean periodically. Work, right, how uh, often that is. That might be... Uh, insulation. Besides besides total life of the equipment, you might say maintenance intervals of some kind as well. I was going to say this. this, this there's... Uh, I, I understand... Uh, what you're looking for now. I, I definitely need yeah. something different. Um, this was much more of a go out and if we're going to do work, kind of start to understand what that work could be. The the right. uh, the other one, I think actually um, is really a what I would consider like a maintenance tracking list. An inventory sheet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Asset, asset, asset tracking, asset right? Tracking. Yeah. yeah. It could use the same format just have different like your four different columns that are in it this one like we could take this exact one and build it with these other columns so yeah it mirrors this like one's a construction mm -hmm. capital plan and the other is a, a capital plan for maintenance and future that's improvements uh, yeah that's great I, uh or i my my question uh would be is if we're our recommendation to select board and ultimately the building um were we thinking we can like get a first pass at that and provide this to them? And as they oh. do the maintenance of the building, it's simply take upkeep. Or is this for us to go? I think it's to us to me personally, it's for me to justify doing something new. I mean, it's the facts. The facts is is this has outlived its life. If we're gonna be moving things around anyhow for flooding purposes, then what's we have 10 minutes out of this point. Yeah. If we have 10 more years of this furnace, I can't see us putting a brand new furnace in. We can move it, yeah. but we don't have to put a brand new furnace in. And we can plan in the capital plan 10 years from now yeah. that it needs to be replaced. And having that kind of thought out plan, I think. The, the proposal that was shot down had a heating system that was included in the ventilation and air conditioning system. Yeah. So it was was planning to replace it although they were replacing it with a totally different you're, type of heat. You're good, Amy. I don't think we need to say that. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. You're yeah. welcome. So, yeah, but that's that's a decision we have to look at again to see if it still makes sense, but that's that was what was proposed in the last one. So, do you do you mind creating the second document that's no, going to be a cakewalk. That, yeah. that we can yeah. do that and we'll I'll I can put the the call like send the columns to you that we've just talked about and if you think of any other columns sure add them across so and we start to do that that's basically a spreadsheet I think yeah, it's you just same thing it's a single same spread. thing it's same single spreadsheet single single page yeah well I think I think you no I think you stay in the same format to know like this is your your HVAC system. This is something that you're doing electrical side of things. Like maybe we're going to replace an electrical box. We shouldn't have to do that every time. And that can go into his summary page because he had that summary page, which was the very first page. So the details are on the tabs. The summary page has. Yeah, I don't know. Well, okay. See what you come up with. One spreadsheet out here. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want. Great. Yeah. But I like that for, I, I like that you broke it out. I yeah. like to be able to yeah. see the different systems. Great. I think that was very useful. I mean, did you have anything that you wanted to add on that? No, I thought that looked good. Um, it, that that would be useful for sort of keeping track, like Matt was thinking of construction, like what would this cost to fix this? But I do think adding that column of once, let's say that we do replace windows, we can note we did that in 2024 or 2025. And then we know, oh, we expect these windows will have a 30 year lifespan. So um, I think having both of those is is useful. We, we, we are the town center and library building committee too. So uh, does yep. the library have any kind of a list? Should we, do. Should we, we have so, page two of the library that we- Yeah, I can, no, I can do that. Actually, there is a list that um, has been created, Lori created just of all the work that's been done over the last three years. So for instance, we have, you know, a, a, we have the date of when the um, uh, basement was done with the mold remediation was done in the basement. So we know when that was done. So yes, we, we do have a list of the major projects and that we've been doing over the last three years. We, are you guys good? If we move to the next item. 
which is prioritize the work. This is the last item that we have, the workspace improvement document, which I'm going to go ahead and pull up and get that down here. Right? That's what I did now, so I'll try to remember. Where was that? Was it the last meeting? Yeah, it was. There it is. Oops. Did you all see the list that Duncan posted with our um, on the web page with additional documents for the meeting with the broken down into the projects that they've started actually looking wow. for bids for? Let's go back and you can tell me what you the yep. so on the current meeting. Uh, yeah, on the town center and library, like the current meeting page for the 9-11 meeting, the document related files. It's um, the seeking contractors for town center and post office projects. They've okay. already started moving forward with asking for some of these repairs to be made. So um, it's actually done some of the things I think that we would be talking about on the spreadsheet. Um, yeah, this is the one that we all agreed to when you guys had me meet with Duncan and yep. Josh and walk through things. And that's they posted it on Front Porch Forum as well. And Duncan had created this list. I mean, yep. this is. I'm just so thrilled, so yeah. thrilled that they're they're able to get some of this stuff done. But thank you for pointing that out, Amy, that that list was out there. Yep, Is there sure. anything you want to talk to them about? Uh, I know you spoke with him okay. over the last couple of weeks. Is he aware of, I guess, it doesn't look like to me, the ceiling and roof leaks maybe is the only one that he's pointed out is maybe do a patch job or, or something yeah. reasonable. He was, they were looking into the, the problem was, is they were trying to figure out if it was leaking, sure. if it was not leaking, where it was, and if it was just happening during a certain storm. So they were going to start to track. That was my understanding to sure. get a better feel for what was going on. Yeah. Sure. But they, they are definitely not holding off on, on doing uh, a re, uh, repair like that. I mean, you can see he's talking about replacing some of the ceiling tiles. So he's going to, look to address any of the leaking awesome. to not damage the ceiling tiles. Killer. That's yeah. great. And oops, go back to that spreadsheet down here. This um we can sort it by uh category if we want I, I looked at it by category. I don't know if that's so good good idea. Idea. Uh, that was a much easier way to so if you don't mind, that's what I'd like to look at it, like like the air quality issue and like what things can we move forward on and have them move forward on and what should what do we think is a bigger part of a bigger project that we're looking at. Um, okay. I don't know what's the best way to go down through this. If I, I'm, I'm going to pull up my version, if you don't mind, too, on my own so yeah. I can remember what I yeah. thought about things. I just highlighted yellow the ones I thought were priority and I highlighted red the ones I thought we needed to talk to them about potentially waiting. That's the that's the direction I took. The other ones I just kind of said, sure. <laughs> there was a couple <laughs> of them I had questions on. Yeah, yeah, there were plenty. Whereas, like one know. of them just said make it better or something like that. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's not yeah, that's, helpful. let's get on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, actually, I think well, it might like, improve air circulation. No, it was much better. I go down. Like mine was questions on like the the in the air quality side of things is like, do we have dehumidifiers in the basement? Do we have an AC unit that does any dehumidifying when it's not in an AC mode? Can it be a dehumidifier? Um, that was like a basic question because a lot of this was radiate art in the basement issues on the air quality yeah i think i i think i took a slightly different approach i said uh in my head i was like yeah of course we're okay so we're going to be doing maintenance we, we recommended and they obviously have opened the maintenance budget what do we need to what do we need them to talk to us about in other words let, let's take the first one on here Sure. Um, I remember this one. I said we just need to make sure that what they do is a is a short term solution because there's a potential we 
we right. Do. We right. decide to do a so whole, like, whole right. open right. Hole. A couple of humidifiers and have them plumbed into automatically drain. Is there any reason why we can't do that for a few hundred bucks each? No, I think, I think I, the automatic drain might be difficult, but uh, they have a bathroom there, so not necessarily. If yeah, they leave yeah, the bathroom door open and, and the drain that human dehumidifiers in the bathroom yeah. sucking in. Yeah, and I guess I, I didn't even think through that, right? Like I, I kind of was in my head, like warm. we're not in the solution space right. where we are is like don't find some go ahead i can't not i know i know right but it's like go ahead duncan like these are good yeah. you should just fire away within your budget at your priority level yeah. um, I, I i have a question about really what is our place in this it seems like some maintenance things they just see need to be done and they do them uh without any input from us yeah. and other things maybe we're pointing out some things that they hadn't seen but you know What's our job here? <laughs> you know, kind of thing. To guide them. Yeah. We are we are we are overseeing these buildings yeah. and they are asking for guidance. This is maintenance that yeah. hasn't been done for right. years. Right. And they don't know where to start because they don't want to do something if right. we're gonna just oh, we planned on tearing that room apart. Why did you do that? Yeah. They just want guidance from us. Okay. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can see that. Permission I can see that. to move forward with something, just like some of the yeah. stuff, like the whole list that they're gonna move forward with on outside yeah. of the building, some maintenance and things like that. That's what they're looking for. Okay. Us. So, so I started because, right, what we discussed last time is upkeep and maintenance. They have a budget for it. They're going to run. Yeah. So when I stood, when I looked at this sheet, this is how I approached it. I said, this is their, this is what they're going to do. This yeah. is their prerogative and at their priority. But we should advise them on certain things potentially not to do because we are going to address them right. in a bigger right. project. Right. And so. That's really how okay. I approached it. Yeah. The rest, yeah, like, I, I agree. Fire yeah. away, guys. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. So for me, I had like proceed with all of these things. Look at at look at putting some dehumidifiers in. We talked about the balancing of the hot and cold air, and maybe having somebody come in to do that. I think we should look at that to see what that cost is. First of all, um, and can it even that, be done? <laughs> can it even can it help? Can we, are there certain vents and, vents and stuff like that that aren't even open that we don't even know they're not open? You know, just a, I've heard of that being done and I've heard it's very successful, whether you would know. Yeah, yeah, I think I, th these vents don't seem to open or close. Uh, the, all that said, again, I, I stayed out of the, like Solution. how to solve the problem, because, but but I I do think like that's a good example though. I remember making a, a little note on one of them that was, Hey, you should you should inform us on on what this is because the the cold and the hot air like if they if there isn't a solution, then that might actually become our prerogative. Right. So right. some of these I was right. like we should we should be informed about this right. right. And so I think there were really only maybe eight or ten that I saw. Um, so this one for me, I had this one the historical society's room and really getting up improve the whole the whole system and protect their records that's a long term for me that wasn't an immediate yeah. Yeah, that, other than the balancing let's look at the balancing to yeah. make sure oh. maybe there's a room that's got not no no heat or cold air at all and it just takes a, a duck you know a little bit of duck work to get something yeah. in there but i thought that one for me was a wait did anybody else no, no i think that's something that's something if we're if we start relaying out the floor space here maybe we want to talk to them about what what we could do that uh, would help. But no, I don't think it's something we want to make a change to the building right now. And I think a lot of the you know people that ask these questions, some of the things that are in there, these are the same questions that Black River asked them what they wanted. And they said, here, here, here it is again. Yeah. Well, uh, and they were looking for a bigger solution. The request was, what's your problems? What are the problems that you're currently experiencing? Yeah. And the problems that they're saying they need a more efficient HVAC system. Well, that's not really what they're asking for. Are you having a problem with hot and cold? Is that what right. we're talking about? Are yeah. we talking about air quality? Is is there something yeah. in the air that you can't breathe that it's smelling funny? What's the situation? So I think the solution person in me says right away, say dehumidifiers and, and checking into balancing the systems. Step one. Yeah. No, that's that's fine. So that's what I did for that page. And if you guys, if there's anything, that, but there was one other thing and I want to jump to was with the get out of that one where was the one with the water that water intrusion if you guys don't mind i want to jump on that one next. 
the water intrusion with the water seeping in through the walls and a sealant. Yeah. Could that be done? I don't reason. I don't know why we wouldn't do that no matter what we're going to do with the building. Well, I think what it was taught, we talked about this at the last meeting and that what they're, I believe from what Adam was saying, that, that what they're doing is kind of a temporary fix that we need to, we may, we may want to do it as a temporary fix, but we're going to do something bigger to solve the problem in a more permanent way as part of the renovation. I actually circled the entire category water intrusion and said, we need to talk. Yeah. I think, I think we just need to sit down because, because there's a really good chance if we bring whoever does, right. And actually it was in Blackwater's, Blackwater? Black, Black I keep saying Black, Black River. Black River, that's it. I, I keep saying Black Rock. It, it, it. it was in, there was a study in Black River, but like, are we, are we actually going, to, there's still an open question. Are we actually going to have to do anything because of floodplain? It's, if you look at the map, uh, unclear, looks like maybe. Yeah. Um, and so I, when I circled all water intrusion and I said, hey, I think we should just sit down and talk with Duncan here because if they're going to go spend a few thousand bucks, maybe that's worth it. They're going to go spend 20. Well, I things. think that's I think where you're at with getting the list, like how much, when you said we're not the fixers, well, here's the list of things we think you should look into the pricing of. Sure. How much does it cost to seal the basement walls and the floor? Yeah. How, what does that cost look like? I mean, you see the advertisements all the time. On, you know, I got one on my phone. I it's took the a basement picture of guy, yeah. the basement guy, right? <laughs> so I'm like, why wouldn't we just check to see yeah, what I, it was? I, no, I, I thought, thought they, they had some quotes. They on did. That. It sounded like Adam. It was ten, fifteen thousand dollars, if I remember, yeah. something in that range. So I think it's basically what I said is, hey, we should talk before you do anything here, yeah. right? Like I think I think there needs to be a conversation because. Maybe and, that's one of the priority things we go and figure out for him so we can talk. We can say, okay, and, we're not going to do anything that we are. And I think what Black River had proposed was to dig up the foundation all the way around and do that. That's what it sounded like. The, yeah. the ceiling on the outside of the. Which is like air quotes, right solution. Yeah. But it, it's the, it's the, what I would call the more permanent solution. Yeah. And so if we end up deciding as a committee over the next however many months yeah. that this is something we're going to go in. It's kind of a kind of a poorly spent fifteen to twenty thousand right. dollars. I think too, if we, um, if I'm remembering this correctly, and I may not be, what we were doing as far as flood mitigation or water mitigation, like depending on how much of the building you are renovating, constructing, changing the, the, what you then have to do for flood mitigation was different. So like, That's if we're right. not doing a major renovation and we're not, you know, moving walls and doing things like that, like there may be less we need to do, um, at least from yeah. the, the flood right. regulation standpoint, maybe Correct. for the preservation of the building, there's certain things we need to do. But I think that's something that we should look into as well. Here's the issue. If you're replacing your furnace in your home, I'm going to think about, I'm going to put the homeowners, the floodplain, the issue there. If you're replacing the furnace in your home, which is a mechanical system that's part of your building, it's not going to go toward this major, this, this value of forcing the flood mitigation. We want to be able to do the flood mitigation work that we want to do yeah. versus what would be mandated if we went above the 50, 55 percent of um, the value of the blah, 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 that whole calculation. But just like it's our regulations that's forcing some stuff, not necessarily the federal government's regulations that are forcing some stuff. So just like the select board is having the planning commission make changes to the park. If we need a change for a, the municipal building to trigger it differently, or if we're going to phase it out over years, that's why we would do that. But I'm not saying put off the flood mitigation work. I'm just saying when we look at that, there can be some yeah. I, movement. And I, I spent quite a lot of time trying to figure out what Black River was proposing for flood mitigation. It's not easy to figure no, out terribly no, but it was but what good. i kind of gathered from it was that the ceiling of the foundation was not something that fema was requiring it appeared that they were doing two things that they were trying to seal up the do the best they can to keep the water out of the basement but they know that 
if it goes per the FEMA regulations, yes. they need they they can't they can't You're not completely gonna... seal it, dry flood proof it because it's going to go too high. So they're trying to do two things. They're trying to seal the water out to do the best we can, but if you get a really bad flood, it's going to go into no, the basement. if you trip FEMA regulations. You and you're in the flood plain. You have to put in flow through vents. So that means you can right. never dry seal purposely because they want the water to flow through. Ab the building. Absolutely, and that's what that's what FEMA is forcing us to do. But since we can't dry flood proof the building, we still want to try and keep the water out if it comes up. We close can to know. We potentially can do some level of of. And that's what I think they proposed. I think the the part where they seal the foundation was not driven by FEMA. Right. It was driven by our desire to keep the small floods out of the basement. Yeah. Just to, and, just the right and, and 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 then we also had to meet the FEMA regulations, which put the flood vents and all that <laughs> stuff in. And Philip, the there's a lot of questions I have about the the uh, post office side of it, but. Uh, the question I had had to do with keeping water from entering or seeping into the building. Do we have gutters all the way around this building? Do we have a, a downspouts and they appoint they're they're putting the water away from the building? I mean, that's uh, I haven't looked. That's a major piece of the puzzle. I, that I know we just looked at a good downspout out on the corner. It was busted and no good and rotting the building because of it. So, <laughs> right, but um, we, I we there are some gutters. downspouts. Kara, on this list that of maintenance that they're currently working on, there's a whole line. Of, it's a roofing, gutter repair, general maintenance, repair downspout in front of the post office, repair roof and ceiling leaks in post office, repair fascia and pads of dock bay by post office. It's all post office related. And right, but it's, that, it's only that one gutter. So that's my concern. I want them to look at the other gut. I want them to look at the building in, I, in as a whole. I, I know they've looked at the gutters by the portico several times, and those have been a problem in the past. I don't know if that ever has been fully resolved, um, but they were working on that portico gutter last year as well. But I'm not, that'd be a good question to ask Josh about um, in terms of whatever happened, because there was a pretty significant leak from the portico that was coming in down there. So I'm putting gutters in that one because I think some of the water coming into the building when it's heavy rains is because we're not sending it away from the building. Uh, yeah. I and mean, it's a problem that happens in people's basements when it rains, if they don't have gutters and they don't have the right slope away from the building and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a yeah, basic know. question to get the answer to. I mean, the gutters don't do any good unless the pipe coming down goes somewhere. That's what I'm saying. It's the <laughs> you know, it's, you know I don't know. You know often, often they come to the ground and that's where they leave it right there at the base of the foundation anyway. But Directional downspouts, right? So I, I do think we should have a conversation about this whole category with Duncan and, and where we are. And so this is an invite Duncan, right? Yeah, I think at least a quick chat on this one, because I think what we want to understand with him is, look, it sounds like there's some work you're considering here. You know, there's real there's real uh, potential that we consider a large chunk yeah. of work around the foundation in some way, shape or form. Yeah. Uh, why don't you, you know, stay in touch with us if you get a budget and a path forward? Let's make sure we're talking. I think this just whole section is something that yeah. we have. Well, large I'll, questions. I'll meet with him first because some of this stuff, like that list that's already there, might be one that we would want him to have some information for us rather than Great. have him come in and ask questions. So I'll touch base with him and, and keep keep in contact with him. He did give me an update on where things are going and who he's working with and stuff like that Great. that I can still share as well. All right. So we definitely, I just put proceed because I think we should proceed with getting prices on things and have an idea of what we're talking about because yeah. no matter what we do around the out, outside of the building we still would want the building sealed on the inside as well because the kids are in it right now yeah uh, I, I, I think we want to know because you can't seal both sides right I, yeah I think uh, you know when I mentioned that in the last meeting I said well you know twice two ceilings is better than one and Adam objected like, and said you don't do don't, don't want to do that you get water in between them yeah. um, but uh, <laughs> well then you have big bigger problems <laughs> yeah. I got gotcha. you so we'll just at least have a price on it no it's a temporary fix and it, it would be a temporary price. fix if we do it so it's you got to be careful what yeah. we do there yep got that thank you thank you for reminding me of that um the bathrooms and the kitchen stuff I really think that's more of remodel situation yeah, yeah if anything's leaking or not working yeah. then fix them and they have been fixing them they have been yeah. if a toilet is broke they've been replacing them so i think i'm i'm stay i put that one as a, a weight 
for I a was, full remodel? I was thinking um, proceed. I, I disagree with potentially the bathrooms being upgraded, but uh, I was thinking like they should at least scope the sewer line. There might be a problem with that. I mean, if they're regularly fixing or plunging the the drain. They I, actually, this is something that I think has already been. Is that the town center first floor? Oh, I thought that was the post like office. I would I would they imagine. The post and this is where I feel like any maintenance yeah. professional would come and say, "Well, let me just look at the sewage line." Right. Yeah, right. Like I think there might be a real problem there, and it would take twenty minutes in a scope to find out. Well, then... I think the fixing and the plunging situation is different than the upgrade. So I think I it's completely very... agree with that. So yeah. I think we need to make sure we're clear on that. So I'm going to. Um, question fixing bathrooms and kitchen and i'm going to put plunging and fixing as quotes yeah yeah and if they've been plunging it since it was built then maybe that's a different problem but <laughs> right. never heard of it. i don't think that's what it is i think it's tends to be if somebody puts stuff down the, the drain in the kitchen the food down the drain yeah. if this, they're used to a garbage disposal there's this line that they used in the 60s and 70s called orangeburg and it is sewage line. They use it for sewage line. And it is tar paper okay. with yeah. wood chips. Yeah. And then I mean, are you still there? And roots can literally. Just I am. Finish. Okay. All right. We're having discussions. And I, since I've got this display and I can't tell if you're at, if you've got your hand up. So please just interrupt anytime you have an opinion on anything yep. we're talking about. Will do. Thank you. I appreciate that. So we've done bathrooms. We've done air quality. Um, I want to go to safety. Safety was another key one for me. Something's not safe. Uh, how did I, move? Yeah, I, had, I had safety in terms of like the um, working fire alarm system, CO2 monitors and sprinklers. Those were things that people had talked about. And that seems like something we should probably do something about sooner rather than later. Was it on the list somewhere else and not under safety? Uh, it was under, where did I, I see it? Was. I thought I saw that. Um, I saw it somewhere on here. Ceilings, walls, and windows. Yep. I've lost a page. Well, let's go through this one and we'll find it, right? Yeah. It'll process of elimination. So. Oh, um, 29, line 29, work, it was it's historical society rooms. They specifically said hardwire smoke and carbon dioxide detectors as well as heating system. So it was part of that. And then there was some fire extinguisher stuff. So, it, you know. I think the fire extinguisher is easy. They can take care of that easily. Yeah, right. But we yeah. we don't have, I think, a really reliable smoke alarm system. Um, there's no sprinkler and CO2. Like for me, that seems like a big one that we should be paying attention to. Uh, sprinkler system, we're not going to put in a new one. No, I without don't. without. I mean, that's the major. What's the category for yeah, that? I don't like, think we require a sprinkler system in this building i don't know we don't no, it, it was part of the proposal that yep. yeah went out yep. and, and i apparently we don't require one because there's not yeah. one here but, no it uh, was it was part of the proposal they said like if you're ripping out the whole ceilings to put all the duct work in and everything you could do the sprinkler system but they also said it is not required in this building yeah that's great thank you amy that makes sense okay so Let's go, it was exterior. So that's, we're gonna say state safety and exterior for just one second. So steps to provide egress out a window in the basement in case of a fire. First of all, do any of those windows open? They all have the boards on top of them. Do we now have- No, the ones in radiate art are glass windows. There is one that opens though, cause I drove by the building one day and I was like, huh, there's a window open and it's like yeah. literally open into the radiate art space. So it, there was no glass or screen on it. It Any was- reason it looked like why it we shouldn't just proceed and have a set of stairs built inside and, and have a egress there? I think that's a safety thing. Yeah, right? I, don't, I don't know what it looks like, but I would say fire away. Yep. Yeah. So we're yeah. all in agreement. I mean, the bottom of the windows are, you know, this high off the floor. So they need a step or something to get up to it, I guess. Yeah. Yep, we're good with that. I definitely thought we should proceed with that. Um, doc back frame is rotting. That's our they're already proceeding with that. That's already on their list that they're working on. 
So that's that's not even a question there. And then ramp to the dock, they're already working on that. So those two are gone. Sorry about that, Amy. That wasn't where you were. It had 29 on that row, but that's not the one that you were talking about. She had them all. I think she just has them all done. Yeah, when I had them all done, that, that one pulled just 29. So it's like numbers. But let's go back to we'll go ceiling. We've done that. We've done that. We'll do storage space. Let's do the last ones that we've got. Okay, storage space for uh, other than the basement. That's a weight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easy to decide on that one. Ceiling tiles need to be replaced. They are proceeding with that because they can buy ceiling tiles, and then if they have to put, if they're all like tan looking in one room, they'll do one room with newer ones and take some of the older ones and, and put, replace and them. Cover this one yeah. up here. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's the approach. So, Kara, okay. Kara was like, "Okay, let's fix this." <laughs> um. So let's keep going. Uh, next one. Update both bathrooms within the mist kitchen use. So need some work. That's a wait. The next one was a screen on the window so that it can be open. I do not think we should be worried about opening the windows right now with the fact that we have central air and heat. I tend to agree with you. So I think that wait, stop opening the windows. There was there was one from the I don't remember where it was from the uh I think it was from cool. That said there was a window that wouldn't close. We're going to get to that okay. one. We'll get to that one. It's in, the, it's in the area that we're in right now, I think. Three people have a workspace. That's a way. Uh, that's not. Now, windows very old, drafty, and hard to open and close. That's a way because we're going to address all the windows at once, I think, unless there's a broken one. Very well. Utilizing the police department space more efficient, efficiently. That I had that as a way. Everybody, yes. We're not planning on doing anything with that yet. New windows for better insulation airflow. Okay, that's again the same thing. Old and stained decaying ceiling tiles, those were a proceed. Windows very old, drafty. That's a wait. Computer server location also serves as a workspace. Now that I think they might be able to move Duncan out of the closet, Amy, <laughs> and you provide him a different. <laughs> different workspace. I really wondered why he didn't switch with the Lister since they're only in one day a week. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's it's definitely interesting because he said by the end of the day, he's like, oh, my God, the hum is driving me crazy. So I'm telling I'm going to I'm going to if you all are good with that, I'm the fixer. I'm going to have to talk to about the change, yeah. change office. Do it, Duncan, Brad. I don't know Brad. why you need permission. Do it in red and give it to Duncan, right? <laughs> well, the, the Lister is in maybe one day a week, yeah. and she has a bigger office than yeah. what Duncan's using, and there's no server in it. Right. Makes no sense. Next one, better windows. Oh, that's a wait. Sorry to go down through all these, but I think it's important to give guidance. The staff is likely to grow and won't be added temporary administrative. That's a wait. Replace the ceiling tiles, secure properly. We have tiles with mold. We'll definitely proceed with getting rid of moldy stuff. Who says keep mold? Bathroom should be updated, new floors, new ceiling tiles. That's a wait. Entrances to the building need to be cleaned thoroughly and routine. Okay, that's a proceed. The, the one above that for the bathrooms, the last says cleaned consistently. I think having the bathrooms clean consistently. Is They're supposed to be. They're, they're, that's somebody coming in to do it, and that isn't the one. They got two different cleaners coming in to do two different kinds of cleaning in right. here. So if they're if if the staff feels that they're not being cleaned good enough, then they need to go to to Josh. Yeah. And complain that the cleaning service isn't right. doing what they want it to do. But when the floors are so old, sometimes you can mop them, and they don't look like they've been mopped. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a. I have lived in a Burlington apartment. <laughs> walls should be clean, routinely painted. Where, yep, yeah, this is this is going to be a wait on in some areas, right? We've talked about the just the mm. main entrances downstairs. South end facing windows do not close. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's 
uh, proceed to see if we can just get them to close, but stop opening them too. All right, exactly. It's the same group that's- And it's the time of year, maybe you would think won't be opening them for a few months anyway, but- <laughs> And this, the easy access with a different keypad, talk to them, they're already looking into that because that was part of making sure the dock, dock the doors lock properly and the keys have been re-keyed if it needed to be, but can we go to an electronic person? That kind of thing, that's not wasted no matter what we do with the building for it, it would be good. We have the keyless entry for the police station. Um, windows that operate and seal when closed. It would be nice to be able to clean them. Also, windows with e glass filters. It's, there's, okay, so this is a way because we want the whole window thing. Replace fluorescent lighting, and they're already seeing they have some phases right now, and it's going on. Make the lights and fans in the bathroom motion sensitive. They're sometimes left on all night, could be a fire hazard. Disagree with the fire hazard. I don't, I don't think there's a major expense in that. And they already have the electrician here doing some lighting stuff. So I think proceed. I don't think that's going to be a major cost. And even if we remodel the bathrooms, we're still going to need fans and lights. Yeah, I'd say it's in their jurisdiction. <laughs> right. You're good. We're good with that. So hard wire smoke and carbon dioxide detection system on a, to a reporting agency. That's they're they're wanting us to report to which how they're wired and where it's going. They aren't looking for you to put in new ones in that sense. We're looking at smoke and carbon detectors and homes. So I think when we're looking at the HVAC systems and stuff like that and electrical systems. Well, I think they're saying they're, they're saying that you know we should have the smoke detectors and the furnace send a message if the building's on fire to, to, a to the agency. To some somewhere I don't know what that I'll put my I think uh I don't know what town code is, and I don't know what their lease says, but this would be something that I think they need to speak with Duncan about. I, I'll put my, let me put my, I'm the public hat on, and I rent our space to you. As your landlord, that's not in your lease. That's not a service that you provide. Let me, you know, kind of come back yeah. into the committee. Like, there's a chance that we decide to do some sort of I think you put it on it's something list. here, yeah. yeah. But I, but yeah, I, I'd I say mean, like I, there's there's a couple things in here. Yeah. Um, I think they certainly need to have smoke and carbon dioxide detectors. I, I hope they do. There, it looks like they do. Only they want them hardwired, but, and, uh, and with a message being sent. Yeah, hardwired for the message to be sent. Yeah, and then they want the message. They want monitoring, twenty four seven monitoring. And so I think that's something that they need. I to mean, work with. I mean, the historical society they have some material is irreplaceable and so forth. And yeah. so they're looking, saying if the building catches on fire at midnight, they'd like somebody to know about it. But yeah. uh, well, that's going to run into the building to get it. So yeah, right. I know. I know. I, think... I, I understand what they're asking for. I don't think yeah. it's something we can do at this point. It's kind of, it seems I, like think that part of, I think part yeah. of where this came from as well was that initially, and this may have been fixed since this list was made, but there was a there was one day where like there was an alarm going off a smoke a fire alarm going off on the third floor i don't think there was an actual fire it was malfunctioning but nobody on the first floor knew that it was happening like there was no communication between the levels in the building when alarms were going off so i think what they're really asking for is a system that if you know if something's going on on the first floor you know that it's going on on the third floor and vice versa and i i'm not I, sure where they're at with that Thank you, I, Amy. Hundred percent agree with that, but I think that's a bigger. I I think there's. I mean, I think a new alarm system was part of the big proposal. Um, whether it's something that we could do, I mean, it's something that appear, apparently it's a problem. From what I heard, Duncan spends a lot of time chasing down false alarms and so forth. That when the thing goes off for no reason at all. So it's something that needs to be done. I don't know whether how big a job that is. Is it something we could do that would be? And I don't know requirements could, either. So we could might. be you could still be useful if we rearrange things. Probably the whole rest of the other list that they've got going on right now. I'm hesitant, and I'm thinking a bigger picture. That's a bigger ticket item, bigger picture. But maybe I'm yeah. Maybe would, I'm underthinking this. I, I would. I I would. I have pause because if. There is a safety hazard here. Somebody, right, there's a carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide problem. And somebody passes out a room and there's an alarm going off for 10 hours. That's a problem. Yeah. 
Right. But if, if the alarm's going off and nobody does anything about it anyhow, nobody addresses or nobody looks into it, right. does it matter where the alarm is telling somebody if somebody's there and knows it's going off? Well, I guess my point I is... guess that's what I'm trying to say, but, is but if you if, ignore it. But if somebody, but if they're ignoring it because it goes off all the time when they when there's nothing wrong. Oh, I so. thought they were fixing that, Amy. Were they not looking yeah, at I, it? That's what the, I would ask where they're at with that process of the alarm okay. system because they have done some uh, work with it, but I'm not sure if it's still yeah. working well okay. yet. I kind of remember hearing that, you know, they had done some work with it, but it's kind of a patchy fix to yep. hold it over until we right. can get out yep. the bigger picture. And that's what I'm recording yeah. too. So that's why in my head, it's, yeah. wait, they fixed the band-aided it. Yeah. And we need how to good. put it as a, a major part of our system. I guess the question is, how good's the band-aid? You know, yeah, it, what is I, it really... Are we in, are we out of compliance with anything would be my question. I, I, I'm used, I, I don't know the answer to this I at know. all. Yeah. Right. For a public building of this size, what alarming system for, for smoke and carbon dioxide is, is required? I'm sure there's yeah. a requirement somewhere. I don't know the answer to that, but it certainly seems like a big overhaul would fall into our potential prerogative. Yeah. But I also have a little pause because there's a potential safety hazard. Yeah, on this right. one. So I think talking is right and maybe yeah. finding it. Yeah. Yeah. I got it on this Great. list for, for Duncan because, but I'm, if it's a major system we're looking at doing, that's yeah, yeah. my thought process. That if they've got something right. fixed for right now. That sounds right. I agree. We need to really look at that. Anything safety, I, you know, that's my top thing in my list of things. Um, automatic lighting after hours and maybe surveillance cam. Um, I think surveillance cams can be very inexpensive right now. It might be something that they can look into. I, 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 I guess that's, yeah. If, I mean, we're I, talking. I, had, I guess it's something we don't have an objection if they want to do it. They want to check it out. <laughs> yeah. I had the, the, I had a question of like, why for this one? That this is on Duncan again, I think, like proceed far away. But, um, you know, are, are people work? Well, here was my thought: Are people working late and don't feel safe, or are they worried about their stuff? That, I, that's kind yeah, of right. triggered exactly. in my head. Yeah, like, yeah. and if they're worried about their stuff, I would say you're welcome to get a surveillance scan, right? Yeah. If they're feeling unsafe, I think that's on the building right. and the building manager to figure out them. Yeah. Auto lights on the main stairwell to come on if power is out. That's a safety thing that should already be in existing. I think yeah. for all exits, you had to have an exit light that, and you have to have lights that come on. So, yeah, like there is here, but the, there We're there aren't about. any in the stairwell. I think this is where I have questions about compliance. Okay, this is you know, where we, the fire alarm. We we start. walked out of here at the last meeting. It was quite dark going it's down the stairwell. Dark. And, right, but they would only come but, on if the power was out, right, too. That's true. That would not have helped. If the power was on, so they weren't going to come on. They come on. But so, if all the power in the building had gone out, they would have been even darker. <laughs> no, I think it would have been better because we shut the lights off here and we went because it was no, the lights no, were off. Without any lights, and well, you think some of these lights would come on would be better? I don't know. The fact that that light would come on when we shut all the lights off is a good thing. Yeah. yeah. E either way, I had questions about that too. And that there's a potential that falls into the big work we do because there's a, there's a chance we're out of compliance and we have to do a rehaul of that. There's also a chance that they just put a light in the stairway. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a matter. I don't know how hard it would be to fish. They have to be tied to the electrical system some way. So, right. so how hard is it to? I'll put it on the talk list. I'll yeah. double check yeah. with Duncan where we're at. What's going on with it? That kind of thing. Um, motion active lights and fans in the both the bathrooms. We've already said proceed with that. It's just a different floor's bathroom. That's all. Um, the question that I had. Oh, well, and. I don't think we have to talk about it. Proceed with buying it by extinguisher for, for the for third floor kitchen. Yeah. The, the question that I had is nowhere on this does it say anything about the outside lighting that is getting, it's terrible to go to this parking lot. Uh -huh. I want to find out what is going on with the ones that aren't working. If you well, guys are okay with that. Add that, that, add that to the list. Lighting. Yeah, absolutely. Because I think as we go through the winter and we're going to these meetings and we leave here, yeah, and that's it's it's a public safety thing as far as I'm concerned as well. So I got my list of things to talk to them about. I don't think I think we went through all the categories, but we can just double check by selecting them all and cruising down through to make sure we have something listed. 
Wait, 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 wait. Proceed, 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 proceed. Wait, talk. I put some talks in some places, but it's it's a proceed to go talk to them. Yeah, we got it all. And I updated the sheet that was out there. Great. So that's all in place. Is there anything that that you wanted to add, Amy? I don't mean to not be calling on you back there. No, that's fine. I'm I'm wondering too, as we think about this list, you know, we've kind of identified this is being done. We're going to talk to them about this, but in terms of some of the the bigger ticket projects, the bigger fixes like windows or you know HVAC or things like that, like are are we going to try to prioritize and say? you know, out of these very expensive projects, like this one has to get done first and then we can work on this one or we're going to phase these projects in in a certain way. Is that our next point of discussion from this list? I think this list now, anything that we're awaiting on, all everything on this list that's await comes onto our list that we're working with potentially Camel's Hump group on yeah, to see how it's part of a bigger system. And, and once we just- bigger, A yeah. bigger plan. And okay. we have to figure out all the things we need to do, and then we need to figure out how and when to do them. But yeah, and I think Amy, to to what you said, I was initially like, God, these windows can't be that big of a deal. And after I read this list, it was kind of like, oh, <laughs> yeah, it seems like we probably need to consider the windows. And the, <laughs> not that not that we're going to go do them, but like, yeah. you know, I think this this definitely gave me some insight into. Uh, some building issues that certainly fall in our prerogative and, and why why there was so much talk in the documentation I read, read through the previous committee. There's, a, there's an awful lot of things when we get into the bigger project that once we start, you know, you, they all the tie closet. together. Yeah. The windows is something to me seems very separate. Yeah. We, can yeah, either, we could either do them first or delay them, I yeah. mean, whatever, but. Yeah. So can we look, everybody look at our calendars and figure out what meeting we will all be here for so that we can invite and, and see if it's possible to have um, Camel Sump come to that one. I'm here the 25th, which is our next meeting. I'm here the 25th, our next I meeting. I should be fine. I am here. too. Yeah, I'm here the 25th. Let's, let's. See what Adam's doing. And, and I'm here the 9th. And can so can we'll... you just check with Adam before you invite Art, but then can you see if Art can come the 25th? Yeah, I'll take that homework. I'll chat with Adam. If It sounds like everyone's here the next two meetings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who the hell leaves Vermont in late September? <laughs> Nuts. Um, and uh, if Adam's leaving Vermont, I'll remind him that he was born and raised in Vermont. And what the hell is he doing? But I, I'll, I'll figure. I'll figure it out. Um, so we have him here for the the start of meeting seven o'clock. So the art doesn't have to stay late. That's okay. Yeah, we'll have him first thing. So so uh, I I will do that, and I'll let you all know over email as soon as I know something. Beautiful. And if not, and it has to be the set the next meeting. Then say that name. I'll let you know either way. Yep. Because that'll drive the agenda for the next meeting, Amy, depending on if Campbell's Hump is going to present. So yep. okay. I don't know if kept track of the times of that we've switched gears to the different things. But um Camel's Hump will be first. And then I think we I can do an update um on where it will come update on the Duncan talks and, and projects. Yeah. Um I just am so thankful that he's doing it. Um so I'll do an update on the Duncan stuff. And then I think, I don't know if you're all ready to, to start to talk about one after Camel's Hump is presented, if we need a meeting after that, before we get ready to go do an ask to the select board and what that looks like. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know if we need another meeting. I don't know how long, a, I, I mean, if, I if, we, if he's gonna be here for the duration of the meeting, Knowing, knowing art, and I think knowing, um, wh why do I say this? We're going to want to ask him. I, I think we're going to get into it, and we're really going to value the knowledge that he has. Yeah. And I think we're going to dig at him for at least an hour. <laughs> yeah. um, so so we probably need to wait till the next meeting to sit down and figure out. I think what... we can process it, too. Yeah. But I think what we can also look to talk to art about is the possibility of helping us with the presentation to oh, the select okay. board. Oh and justifying bringing in yet another contractor yeah, um, because they had Black River. So yeah. bringing in a new approach, new thing, and, and maybe it's just a little PowerPoint presentation that I can help put together or whatever. And we can do something like that that says, you know, some basic questions. Yeah. Why, why do we need this? Why do we want to do this? Why are we looking at this way? How are we approaching this project differently than how it was approached before? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I, I assume from his quote that it would probably be funded in phases as well. That's so right. we, we would give them the $10,000 for the first phase. And then if we didn't like what he did, we can kick him to the curb. <laughs> yeah, kick yeah. him to the curb. But but they need to know what's coming as well. But that's, but that's it wouldn't be. What does that process look like for us if it has to really go to RFP? Like what is what is Josh's spending level to just be able to? I think it's like $15,000 or something. Yeah, so I, thought, I thought it was something like that. Um, so my question is, is if this is who we want to go with, do we really have to go out to an RFP or can we I don't move know. forward? Yeah. Well, that, that's that, a, so that's the question for the select board, right? Yeah, for, us question to ask for Josh, for Josh, Josh select, select board, but, board. But, I, but I think we are really committing, unless they grossly blow it in the first phase, yeah. we're committed to the $60,000 or whatever the I, total was. I'm not sure I agree. Um, no. I, I think the way I read the proposal is they're they're kind of buttoned packages as chips. Yeah. Well, uh, I, maybe maybe what maybe what I the word I used was wrong is that I don't think we're committed to doing it, but we expect to do it. I, I think if we choose someone, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, if, we're right. yeah. if, yeah. if we select anyone, I think we're selecting them yeah. for the long haul unless yeah. they yes. really do blow it. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, but. But really, all they have to money that they need to turn loose at this point is the ten thousand dollars, which he may be able to do. Yeah. But do we need to get approval since we expect to spend sixty thousand in the next phase? I think is over the. Can't remember what it was. The next phase, the next two are doozies, right? I think they're both about twenty five. Oh, 20, on, 20, on that, a quick question for you all because it's something that came up when we were doing the the list of things that they're going to address and work on right now. It's on that list. Is the ha the entrance hallway there being after the electrical work is done and stuff like that that needs to be done? Um, is the painting and the painting of just that first entrance area um, before you go up the stairs and nothing else? Yeah. yeah. They, we double check with the historical society is the color that's there. Da, 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 can the color change? Do you all have it? We're we're looking at just doing light, bright, nothing big deal. The question is, is do you all want me to bring samples in, or do you want me to to <laughs> do, you, do you trust that I'm going to pick a color that's pretty basic? I don't know. And, I don't know if we can trust you or not. But <laughs> you want to go pick out the paint swatches and do it. No, I'm just, no, I'm just I, only asking because. No, I, listen, I guess it would be a similar color to what's down there. No, that no. I would not go with that peach color. That's oh, I don't even remember what was there. Peach, I would not go that with that color. No. <laughs> um, I professional. I just go with a professional white color that doesn't look like you're in a prison, but doesn't look like you're in. Yeah. Um, Anyhow, that's fine. Whatever. If you guys want me to bring no, samples, no, no. I'll bring them. I don't have no. a problem with that at all. I, I laugh because nobody I've gone back and forth with with German equipment suppliers for months over what color red. But uh, yeah, well, I, like I kid you not, I, 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 I have had so many interactions <laughs> with colors that it's I, hilarious I, to me how big of a deal some people make. But uh, no, I don't. I don't. I think. Well, and I think here's here's my thought process with it too is we're not going to make everybody happy. No. But if it can be cleaner, if it can be cleaned, painted, and kept fresh, that's what everybody's asked yeah, for right. is to yeah. have cleaner surface every everywhere they go. Yeah. So the one thing I would I would consider just for the building in the town is, and I'm sure you're thinking this, so it's probably just so you may say, but they're going to maintain the building and probably have several gallons of that on site. It's trying to stay the same color. It's just like what's an easy oh. color to go get, right? Yep. It's kind of what no matters. Specialty that. thing. Yeah. Yes. That if a they custom, have, if they have <laughs> left over, they can touch up and or the if they're highest go. customized paint on earth. Yeah. No, I I I think light and nice sounds Roger, great. Yep. Okay. Uh, another, uh, I guess, if we're, if we're moving on to uh, topics, I wanted to bring something up I saw in the news today, and that is, uh, that, that I think is very relevant to us, and that is the letter from Phil Scott to the school boards. Um, worth a read. I haven't and had a chance to see it yet, so if you can just give I us will the... I give you the title. Well, just give us a, a rundown on on about it and what your thought process was. Why, so, why uh, he is raising concerns... The, the title of the article is in seven days is governor scott school leaders raise alarm about next budget season 
Um, in a letter, Governor Phil Scott said he is reaching out to the school leaders early to try to avoid another round of historic property taxes increases next year. So I think it's something we need to be sensitive to and understand. And as we move forward, understand with the select board, when is a socially responsible time to propose spending for the town? There, there never will be. There ne yeah. So <laughs> but, it, it perked my ears because yeah, of, yeah, we were no. coming here today. It was an article that came out today. It's worth a read. I appreciate that heads up. Yeah. yeah. And I, and but, I, I really think this whole committee has that approach for this building, though. I totally agree with you. And I, I think that's a, I, I think that's great for us to have also to, to, to come back to the select board to say we're up to date on what's going on with the future, yeah, um, yeah. But, uh, potential school budgets, and we, we don't want to overburden the taxpayer, but we want to maintain this asset. And yeah. here's our, here's our short-term plan and our long-term plan yeah, for it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It's. We're all we all keep getting kicked in the teeth. So yeah, you know, this you know we hopefully are going to come in with something that's considerably less than ten million dollars, but it's still we're going to have a major expense. Yeah, I mean and it's it's, like it's either now or point. later, right? Mm -hmm. It's either now or later. It's either now or later, so, and later it's more expensive. Yeah. So I think and, and school budgets aren't going to go down. And if I remember right, that we got. They they made changes to the way the school funding was done. Yeah, that's right. That it's they, just pumped us up, but, but we got a break on it for the first year, which is a built-in increase next year. Um, so, so if if let's just say if he can't come, or or Adam can't come next week next meeting. Yep. Do we really need to meet in the next meeting? Do you know what I mean? Because we've we've tackled some major things here it's a good question it's it's data collection as far as i'm concerned because if you create that spreadsheet yeah. on the ages of the 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 building infrastructure yeah. within it that's going to take some research that's yeah. going to take going back some years trying to figure out and it's and it's going to take town admin time to do it yeah but i think they're going to need more than just two weeks to do it in so my point is is I might not have a lot to cover so. yeah Right. So I think, yeah, that's, I think he, maybe our next meeting was whenever we can all get together again. Correct. So I'll do, so I'll do this. That you are, Amy. Is that sound I, good that, Yeah, no, that sounds fine. I agree. I think there's, we can't move forward a whole lot more before we talk to Camel's Hump Design. And whether that happens, you know, if that can't happen next week or next meeting, I would agree that we probably don't have much that we would need to talk about at that meeting. Great. So I'll let you all know as soon as I can. Okay, that's that's great, and that'll be good. And then if we have them at the next meeting, the following meeting would be just a meeting for us to work on the proposal for the select board, how that's going to look, what everybody's thoughts are. If I can do a mock-up ahead of time, I will try to do that so you could say, yeah, I like that, I don't like that, add this, delete that. Um, Right. Unless somebody else is good at that. I mean, I, I, I'm i a numbers person. I'm not necessarily all you. a presentation, but yeah. but we need to do something. Yeah, yeah yep. agree. that works, Kara. If you're willing to do that, that's great. Thank you. Great. I'll try to. I did, I've got to do the last meeting's minutes and this meeting's minutes and have those ready for whenever we're going to actually get to them. But I'm, I don't have a problem with the fact that we don't have approved meeting minutes out there. We have a draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Close and there's enough. the tape. If somebody really wants to know something, they can look at the tape. <laughs> Probably as many tape. people are reading that as been coming to the meeting. So, <laughs> but I and I think we haven't. I, I I there was the front porch forum posting that went out right to yes. give them an update on what's going on. So I think that's good, and I think uh, we can do the next one and one we're ready to yeah. to go to the select board, and it's, it'll be on the it'll be on the select board's agenda when we yeah. get to that level. So right. there'd be another blurb out there about yeah, that. I think, yeah, I think that's good too. But I think the the biggest kicker for everybody is once we finally get it, some kind of idea of a plan and spending is where they're going to really want to know and participate and have some say in. I mean, yeah. right now. The fact that we have to go buy a fire extinguisher for a kitchen, I don't think anybody cares about. Right, exactly. And says, why'd you wait? <laughs> yeah, I agree. So that's kind of why I didn't know anything was going on down here because I didn't care. If it was, you know, <laughs> I assumed that's what this committee was doing. <laughs> gonna, and I'm gonna try to help. I've got a, a carpeting person coming in to help look at for for Duncan. I'm trying to do bring in people if I can because if nobody's coming, then 
he doesn't have a mason i'll double check with him on that too and try to get somebody in there they were just doing the masonic building pointing that and so what where where are they talking about carpeting to replacing that indoor outdoor carpeting that as you come in the double glass doors oh, okay. right there because that's got the whole hole worn okay. in it i guess that's i guess that's worth doing i i know that that was one thing that as i was trying to figure out what black river was proposing I, they, were, they were proposing basically blowing up that whole area there and putting in a concrete wall underneath it someplace in there and so forth. So it, it seemed to me like they are they were going to tear out all the plaza in front of the post office all the way across in order to dig down to the foundations. There was something about changes to the stairs going down to the basement. Um, and mm -hmm. in the con I think they wanted to fill in that gap in the in the foundation wall where you can look in and see under the post office there as as part of it because they were going to fill in the post office underneath as well and, and that's the floor would have, is over the pipe trench so they would have turned it all up so yep. so there's a whole lot going so, on there maybe so i'm not i'm looking for some major improvements but that might not be well, one of them no, no, <laughs> I, I don't disagree with that but i just don't say that money to spend money but but I but I think that you know spending a lot of money in that area, even though we like to make it look good, it, it may be a temporary thing too. So it's 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 something to be decided. Yeah. So that's why it's just the main entrance where the carpet's all worn out and that's yeah to yeah I think it isn't a stuff. whole lot of money to throw some new carpet on there. I wouldn't put any real good stuff. <laughs> well, that's why I'm gonna have the flooring person come in yeah. that does commercial flooring and say, okay, yeah. we don't want we don't have a big budget. What yeah. do you think? Yeah. Like this it's what been you... here since I was born. I think no, I'm just kidding, but <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 aged, it's been a while. Yeah. What do you think? So okay. I don't want to keep you anymore. Anybody do we make a motion? Are we good with yeah. that? Make a motion. Let's make motion. a motion to motion adjourn. adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Hey. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Amy, I just shut this off and shut it all down and it's all set, right? Yep, yep. And just turn off all the lights in the building too. So thank you. Have a good night. Do the same, feel better. Yeah. <laughs>